American reacts to why you should learn German. Let's take a look. Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins and this is React with Hugs. Let's hop straight into today's reaction. You need to learn German. You just Me? don't know it yet. Schmetterling. After watching this oh my God. video, you will have no more excuses not to study German. Wanna bet? It's okay. not by chance that German is the language of poets and philosophers. You need to take control of the life you're giving. Call me Oh my god. There is oh my god. What the frick? It's not a language in the world that allows you to express your thoughts as exact. And with the following examples, I will show you why. In the German okay. language, you can connect words endlessly, letting you create new words no one ever used before. Fair this is amazing, I know. But the the definition of Fernve is behind my face cam. It says distance pain, the distress of always being in familiar surroundings and the longing to go far away beyond the Alps, perhaps to the south where no one knows our name and the smells are different in the marketplace. And one is woken up by the sounds of strange bells from the temples an acknowledgement that will always suspect that life is a bit elsewhere. Aha, Fernve. Right. In English, we say depression. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. The Let's continue. The official word has been until recently this one. Rindfleischetikierungsüberwachungsaufgabenübertragungsgesetz. Uh, <laughs> all I understood was Rindfleisch. That's about it. Which describes a lot Cow meat. dealing with the supervision Steak. of the labeling of beef. Beautiful, isn't it? That you wow. can connect. That is a beautiful word. Words like that is so efficient that most of the time you don't have to explain a situation or a state. Explanation distress. Erklärungs not not. Erklärungs not. Status. Huh? There is most likely a word for it. Just by connecting. Two what? nice little examples are verschlimmbessern, meaning making something worse while actually trying to make it better. Oh, dude, he just broke his car. <laughs> to make something worse by trying to make it better. Uh-huh. I'm not sure if we have a word for that in English. We have a, an expression, a phrase. We say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what we say. Or the oh, word dude, that sucks. Literally, Kummerspeck. Grief bacon. Referring to the excess weight that is gained from emotional overeating, especially during times of sadness. Kummerspeck. Grief bacon. <laughs> Dude, I like that During one. times of sadness. To be honest, it's just more fun and logic to structure language like that. It just makes so much more sense. Knowing that, will you okay. still call German a difficult language? Most memes focus on the complicated aspects of the German language. German Scrabble. Wait, go back. <laughs> German Scrabble. Dude. <laughs> okay, come on. That's pretty funny. That is, that's a funny joke right there. Complicated aspects of the German language. Wish to learn German language. Der die das. <laughs> Hiding behind the door with knives. Oh my god. A German has... 23. 3 and 20. In <laughs> most languages, 23. <laughs> also, a few oh, words so good. that simplify your everyday. Just take the word bitte. You can use this word in so many different situations. True. You just have to vocalize it differently. Bitte? Oh. This is interesting. Let's see. Bitte? Pardon? Bitte? Please? Bitte. Go ahead. Bitte. Here you go. Bitte. You're welcome. Bitte? Not at all. Bitte? I slept with your sister. I messed up, but I still love you. Can we move past this? <laughs> Bitte. 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 Bitte? <laughs> I think I actually nailed that part. I think I got that right. But you really want to learn German for the vast job opportunities that await you here. Rise and grind. <laughs> the meeting starts in two minutes. Don't be late. Yeah, I'm coming. It is <laughs> Europe's biggest and strongest economy after all. Maybe that's why German is the most widely spoken language in the European Union. Yes? Probably. It's almost 100 million people. It will also open your gateway to a world-class higher education with its countless universities, which, by the way, are free of charge. Sounds pretty mm. communist if you ask me. But you don't even <laughs> have to go to Germany to use your German. Germans are everywhere. They will find you. 
I got one right behind me right now, watching my every move. You, German citizens, are some of the most travel hungry in the world. No matter if you're hiking a volcano in Guatemala, go Whoa. on an African safari. Dude. In the world. No matter if you're hiking is a that volcano real? in Guatemala. Bro. Is this real? Is this a real erupting volcano? Bro, I would be out of there. Are you kidding me? I would be out of there. There's no way that's real, right? That's that's fake, right? I don't know. I don't know, but I, I would not be there if that was Mala, real. Go on an African safari or drive around the hinterland of India, you can be sure to meet a German there. In fact, German people are the record holder of money spent on international travel. Dang. And when you know German, that money may go in your pockets. If it's <laughs> not money you're after, maybe it's love. And having a German partner <gasps> will never make you lack romance. They will even sing for you. <clears throat> Ohne dich kann ich nicht sein, ohne dich. Mit dir bin ich auch allein, ohne dich, ohne dich. Uh, okay, let's move on. If you're not convinced yet, something's seriously wrong with you. And before <laughs> you start looking at shitty in-person German courses, wait, there's this online course I'm starring in that will teach you a whole oh. level of German in just 10 weeks. Last year, we already launched okay. A1, A2, and B1. And this week... A1, A2, B1, okay. ...is the launch of B2. With Ooh. this course, studying German won't feel like work anymore. It's interactive, it's fun, and it's using a special teaching method called chunking, which focuses on... Chunking? That was my nickname in high school. Chunk King. I got that nickname for uh, other reasons. Anyways. High frequency Let's continue. patterns chunks that native speakers use ah my other nickname in high school chunks so the structure of the language comes naturally to your brain the new hmm. b2 course is a bit different from the previous ones because we're not just teaching you german but also taking you on a trip around all germany showing you the local culture and sites of the country so oh. what are you waiting for go to the link in the description and check out all the details and if you sign up this week you will even get a what? juicy discount am i in time Oh, this video is 10 months old. Okay, I'm a little bit late. Dang it. I hope I see you in the course. Happy studying. <laughs> oh, I just looked at the comments on this video and one of them says, German lures you in with fun vocabulary, then pulls out the grammar stick. <laughs> it's so true. Pulls out the grammar stick and shows you who's boss. <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah, I've been learning German for a few years now. Not super hardcore, but it is a difficult language to learn, but I don't think that it's that much more difficult than other languages to learn. I think that learning any new language is pretty difficult. Like you have to just put in the work and study and practice. The more you study, the more you practice, the more you listen to it and use it, the better you're going to get. And I don't think there's any shortcuts or any ways around that when learning a language. You just have to do it. You have to just put in the work. And I think that German gets a bad reputation for being like difficult to learn or something. And, uh, you know, it, some parts of it can be like, you know, coming from a native English speaker, some of the grammatical things are a lot different and hard to get used to. But once you do, then, you know, they kind of become second nature to you and you don't really have to even think about them. So it's really yeah, I don't think it's really that much worse than learning probably most other languages. I think that it just gets a bad reputation for some reason. But I'm curious what you guys, the experts, have to say. I mean, I know that pretty much all of you guys are native German speakers, so it's kind of a little bit different for you guys. But what do you think? Do you think that German is a language that is worth learning for a... Uh, I guess an average American. Do you think that the average American could use German in day-to-day -day life? Do you think that it's difficult to learn German or I guess just difficult to learn new languages in general? At any rate though, that's all the time that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for being here and as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.